on both because of the platforms, you know, two side platforms being RNG, right. things of that nature. Yeah. So sometimes Ooh. you want to start off with the bad stage, oh, but no, they are no, starting Yoshi's. off on Yoshi Store. So here we go, guys. Winners finals, S Fat versus Zane. Let's get it. Zane. Yeah, in recent history, I feel like the, I, oh, oh my god, he got the jump. quickest, the quickest KO. All oh, right, just like that, right off the bat. Yeah, I feel I mean, like the, the stages have been so different in recent history. Like I feel like in in recent history, like this is a little bit better for Fox than it used to be, right? Ooh, oh, Zane answers right back. No, I agree with you. I think like the, the the close quarters of the stage like have made Foxes like the stage more and more. Mm -hmm. And Mars don't have the room to run back and play that setup game that they that, that they get to do on a lot of other stages. Yeah, and Zane especially, right? Like he loves his dash yeah. and whatnot. So Any he likes little inch of stage when he can dash back, he's gonna use it. He's yeah. very very good at it. You see it right now, and you and you know Zach's ready for it. Like Svet's gonna do a lot of undershoot aerials to try to bait S uh, Zane to come forward. Right. You know, kind of coax him forward and give up. Uh, you know, some of the position that he has. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he got. He got him in the corner. Oh, throw up here. Oh, couldn't get it, but he gets it right there after that get up attack. Good stuff by S Fat here with the one stock lead. Yeah, looking looking pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. Honestly, S Fat has been so consistent. Oh. He gets like top eights every single time. He has. Yeah, he, he does. Tweeted about it too. Yeah, he was basically yeah. saying like, you know, I kind of just made top eight by by not getting upset. <laughs> you yeah. know, like, <laughs> I, yeah. Kind of quiet, and I had a little moment too. I was like, "Wait, who's the last guy in yeah. winter semis?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, it's just Sfat, huh?" Of course, that makes did. sense. Yeah, of course he did. Of course it is. Yeah. Jab. This is gonna be the bad. That was a brilliantly timed up B to grab the ledge there with the fire stall. Yeah, Zane had to go for the double jab just to make sure that if you're smash the eyeing in, then you can't end up grabbing the ledge there. Mm. Ooh, get that shy guy out of here. I definitely heard the the slice, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> is Sfat okay?" But it was the shy guy took the hit. Yeah. <laughs> took one for the team. Yeah, that was the Mr. President. <laughs> All right, he's got him without the double jump. Nair, because he got a little more knockback than a lot of the other moves. So much time to go up there when you have the LB just starting like that. Exactly. Perfect position right there for Zayn just to get the really easy F smash. And he has the one stock lead, but let's see if Espy can bring it back and see what combo he got for us. Oh, he could have actually continued to convert that. A lot of, lot of moves would have, have comboed, right, DJ? Yeah, exactly. What, what would you do there? Uh, after the up throw, if they DI either left or right towards the platform, you could just jump Nair. And mm -hmm. then after Nair, barely will bring him anywhere because they're DIing in. Right. They'll possibly get either a down tilt or an up tilt. Oh, is he gonna get KO'd? He does at 96%. Ledge dash up smash. And S Fat, even though he started with such a lead, that's the that's the power of Zane, right? Like every time he gets a hit, every time he has you in off stage, he's just gonna get the KO. Mm -hmm. Zane actually been making really good. You see when he pushes uh, S Fat off stage too, he walks to where he's standing on the slope so he can get the downwards, you know. He's actually oh that was a sick uh pivot forward smash. The benefit of doing the pivot there too is because you know, it doesn't, there's no telegraph. Like, you, you're dash dancing and then immediately the forward smash comes out. So there was nothing for SFAT to react to. Yeah. That's actually something that Zane has actually been incorporating a little bit more in his uh, neutral game where he just goes for these raw F smash. And it, it does so well because you're not going to be expecting it and the spacing that you have to be around for F smash is yeah. a very difficult spacing to do if, uh, unless you're expecting it. It can catch you out of your jump. Exactly. And the cool thing is sometimes you're shooting and it just hits your shield and you, you might fall to the ledge. Yeah, you see know? right there, he just did raw F smash right off the bat at 0%. Why not? Yeah, and that's the thing with Zane, right? Is that going for those F smashes like that, you know, he has an amazing dash dance game. So you think like he's just gonna try to run away, reset the neutral, and then he catches you by surprise with those F smashes. That's actually the classic Jason Zimmerman that's Mewtwo the, King. That's the, that's the King. classic Mewtwo King. If anything, so Kalini has been telling, KJH has been telling Zane, you need to do that more. Because right. for a long time we used to talk about it, KJH would always say, you know, I think Zane actually doesn't do enough cheesy like run, like forward smashes, dash attacks, yeah. like you need to incorporate more of that. So I think that's something Zane's actually been working on and trying to steal from YouTube. For sure. Okay, going for the fair instead. All right. I would have thought he would have wanted to go for the down air, but then he was probably accounting for S by doing the slide off after mm. the down air. Yeah, just because of how he was like positioned on the platform. You gotta pay attention these days. Like, are they in the middle of the platform, or are they on the near near enough to the ledge where they can slide off? Yeah, yeah like slide that. off. Yeah, is such a big component of your game. Like sometimes you want to like just wait for that little extra second and then punish them after they do it. Yeah. Ooh, amazing. What a shine from S Fat. All right, S Fat with the slight lead. Ah, yeah. Zayn a hair late on that tech chase. Oh, Wispy made that a little confusing, actually. Zayn had to uh, shield drop and not slide off. Right. And it's funny how Wispy messes that up. It yeah, really, right. It really does. It really does. And you saw that uh, S-Fat actually went for the drill there so he can fade back a little bit uh, based on what Zayn was going to do on that platform. Uh, they both players were set the neutral. Amazing usage there of the down tilt. So much range. Very hard to punish at long distance. Ooh, Ooh, puts out the light Fuller shield at the last second. That was like the last itty bitty second. s -Fat. Yeah, that was, uh, KJH made a video about that exact piece of tech, like, I, I want to say like a month ago? That's like very new. 
You actually have to get a shield smash DI input, five frame window. Yeah, five to frame get the, window. Yeah, yeah, you can't just hold. So uh, it's not that easy. Not that hard, but not that easy. You definitely have to practice it. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, good reaction there from Zay. He even gets the edge cancel on the back here. Yeah. Good stuff here by S Fat on the recovery too, because he might as well recover high. Because even if he reads it, you know, your Fox and it's on Dreamland, like he'll get the hit, you go a little bit off stage and just rinse and repeat over and over again. Mm. Does he get the drill grab, man? Zane has been so on point with those up B's into tech chasing. Ooh, that was a really good read there on that side B, but he has a little bit of an uphill battle here. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, he would ideally like one of those long, long combos, but the thing is, Dreamland makes it harder to make comebacks too. Unless you get the gimp, and you see Sfat playing the platforms, playing center stage, it's gonna make it a lot more hard, more difficult. Yeah, Zane's gonna have to like really throw him off or get like a nice F smash, like he actually has been doing, right, to knock him back off stage. Right. Or get like a lot of tech chases so that he can build up the percent. Ah, uh, uh, that's gonna be yeah. Sfat taking, it. bring it to one game apiece. Okay. Yeah, that's what you like to see if you're looking for a competitive set. I feel like as soon as Fox goes down 0 and 2 in this matchup, God, it just becomes so much more difficult. Yeah. You have to contend with both the the, the counter picks and whatnot, and Zane is so strong in that stage like FD. Final like, destination. Oh, yeah. My God. And most likely we're going to go there right now, too. No platforms to get in the way. You could just go for those up throw classic up tilt mm -hmm. grab combos, things like that. Because on platform stages like Dreamland, you saw that Zane kept going for forward throw tech chases instead. Because he doesn't want to get him on the platform at low percent. Because then you'll have to offer an up tilt or even a short hop up air. And then they could just do the slide off. And then that's it. That's the end of the combo. Yeah, definitely a lot of defensive tech that Fox have applied to the platform now. So Zane getting that first grab. Let's see what he's got. I love when the crowd does that. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed's in a little early the tipper. It's not a guaranteed kill, but it's got a pretty easy edge guard. Oh, back air. Yeah. Ooh, nice. nice. Side B there from SFAT to get the, the recovery, making it a little bit tricky. <laughs> but also, I, I feel like SFAT is kind of comfortable on the stage, man. Like, he's very, very good at comboing Marth when he does get, like, the grab uh, combos into the up airs and whatnot. So, yeah, overall, overall I think this is definitely like. And you see it not just against Mart, like SFAT is so down to take pretty much every character here. Yeah. Like, Dittos, you see it, Falco, like Falcon, like he's always down to run people to FD. Mm -hmm. So even though it's not a good stage for Fox in the matchup, like he feels comfortable. Right. Yeah, exactly. Fox has really, uh, really like juicy combos on this stage, especially at this percent right now. Mm -hmm. He can go for like up throw into back air and then continue to chase it with either another near or right before they hit the ground and pop him up with a dash attack. Yeah, it's all about those like reset combos, right? Like yeah. when you can't get like a true combo, but you wait for them to do a defensive option, and then you punish them afterwards. And I feel like SFAT is actually really good at that. Oh, yeah. He wanted the extra pummels, because then after the up throw up air, he could possibly get them gotten the KO. But good stuff from, from Zane for breaking out. Yeah, you got to recognize that, because you want them in, like, the high 80s. <laughs> Always looking for that third pummel. Oh! Scooped him and got that down air. Oh, this is looking rough. Again, just every time he gets a hit, Zane just does so much with it. Again. Oh. That's the Marth classic, man. You get scared of all the dash dancing <laughs> yeah, no. and then you want to spot dodge. And you feel like such a dummy right after you do it. You're like, yeah, yeah, right? of course they're going to oh. wait it out. Like, yeah. what, what was I thinking? Zane is always looking for it. Uh, Especially oh. after, after he gets like a huge combo. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh, this, this is... Four stocks to one? Yeah, one. This is... Is it going to happen? <laughs> oh, no, wait, no. wait a second. Oh no. Wait, wait. We're going to get our first quattro? Oh, this is the loudest the crowd's been thus far. Hey. Oh. 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 <laughs> What's over there? <laughs> yes, he saw something. Oh, oh no, he's not going for the reverse on B. Zane. Slash. Slash. Yo, that's literally. <laughs> slash. That's a baby slash. It feels so. I love a good slash. Oh, and. Oh. Into, oh. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's what Zane was grabbing at. He saw. What? Over there. Oh. What's man. over there? I don't know. You got a four stock on it. Yeah. I mean, if there's a stage you're gonna get four stocked on, it's FD. It's definitely FD. At that point, you're like, all right, like that game didn't count. Yeah, get, you just move past it in your brain. Let's you get it out of the it. way. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It happens. It happens to the best. Of us. Found of dreams, DJ. You were talking about. So, I, how do you feel about Mars combo game on this level? Because I feel like it's harder for him to set up the like the guaranteed like you know. Up air slide off punishes, things like that. Let's see what he's got here. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? Because even up tilt covers almost the entire platform, and then he could go for like those easy F smash tipper combos, too. So. Yeah, especially when the platforms are lowered, right? And I feel like Zane actually is very strong in FADU because he has the edge cancels at his tool in his tool set, right? Mm. So even with the, the different heights, he's still very adaptable with how he moves across the stage. So this could be a double edged sword. So he got him in the air. Yeah, very hard for Mark to get down, but Zane makes it back, though. Now he's in control. 
Oh, oh man. Ah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Try to get the real specific angle to get back to the ledge. That was a little too specific, though. Yes. <laughs> Gotta check his notches. <laughs> All right. Easy up throw up there. Confirm there. Yeah, and I like that he went a little bit more to the right side to make it that much harder for Zayn to get the smash DI on the up air. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I always think about that. Like, turning around, too, the other thing it does is it makes it so it reverses the, the direction that they should smash DI. Yeah, right. Because the, the, the kick order comes out wrong with the legs. Actually, with a no platform here on the right side, SFAT got a lot of extra percent there. Yeah. Got some, some goofy little combos that wouldn't have happened if the platform were there for Zayn to get off. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, actually, ooh, ooh he actually could have went for a shine after that. Mm -hmm. Didn't get the grab either. Yeah. Let's see the edge guard. Uh, right. Tries to set up for like a Marth killer, but uh, doesn't really work if they can just double jump to the stage. Hey, when they're that ooh. close, they're that close. Yeah. Might, not, might not be the best option. That was a good call out by SFAT, knowing that usually, you know, people, everybody, 2019, everybody shield drops, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good call with the up smash. Yeah, and Fountain of Dreams is definitely one of the stages where you can really kind of punish them for it because you could threaten their shield just with tilts and smashes. You don't even have to jump sometimes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, just the up smash. Up smash. He's comboing off of up oh. smash. Zane. It's not allowed. No, that was custom. Yeah. Wow. Amazing slide off air there by Zane, but in trouble. Oh, that misses the edge cancel just barely, so Zane gets the neutral air. Ah, mistimed. Yeah. yeah. He did it too early, actually, I feel like. I saw the jab come out and finish, and that's going to do it. Yeah, Zane's actually doing a really good job on his recoveries. Like, he's jumping right away while SFAT is trying to, like, start up his uh, Marth Killer with a Light Shield, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. That actually could have been okay. Yeah, and SFAT yeah, yeah, gets the yeah. up smash anyway. Mm -hmm. It's a little dicey going above SFAT with a shield like that because, like you said, he can catch the shield drop. Right. Yeah, especially at low percent, because if he does the Zane does the shield drop, he'll just crouch cancel and like he did, he just went for the jab up smash right away. Yeah, SFAT trying to stay pretty grounded against these forward airs and uh, fade back aerial to Zane. Oh, is doing, oh, he gets the dunk and he DI's so far away, expecting not the dunk. He thought like a forward air or something else was going to be coming out, right? Yep. Yeah. Especially at that percent. All right, so this is SFAT's stock right here in <gasps> winners. Oh, that is a gutsy jump back up air. Mm -hmm. Wow, going for the. Oh, I don't think he has it. No, he used it. Never mind. Ooh, he, oh, he yeah, he he read the overshoot. Oh no! Oh, up smash on shield. Oh, Sometimes you're feeling it. He thought he had enough time. Zayn messing up with the four tilt instead of going for the up tilt. Can Asphat bring this to a game five? Oh wait, nice a throw up air. Up there. Okay, yeah, going for the back air. Nice mix up. Let's see what's the option here, and oh, he gets it. Wow. And we are going to a game five here in winners finals. I don't even think we see game fives between these two that often, right? This is this is a little bit, a little bit unprecedented. Yeah, it's usually like three one. Like three that's, one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this is uh this is dope. This is Zane being taken to the limit by Esfad. Yeah. And Esfad looks like he's got answers to a lot of these situations that used to give him trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have no idea who's going to win. It's looking. It's very very close in that game four. Mm -hmm. Extremely close. So let's see what's the stage pick. He either he doesn't have FD. Yeah. He doesn't have FD. He, he could run it back there. Run it back or Pokemon. Yeah. 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 And we saw, I mean, a lot of the times the Fox will still take Marth there. Uh, so we saw that, oh no, he's just going to yeah, go back okay. to Battlefield. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep it as neutral as possible. So here we go, guys. Game five. Who will advance into grand finals? As fat or Z. Yeah, this is a huge deal because you don't want to yeah. drop down that loser's bracket where you have to contend with either Bango or H Bar. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. It actually matters so much. Very difficult loser's yeah. bracket for whoever loses this. All right, staying safe there on the platforms. He knows that Zane is going to retreat. Just playing it real safe right now. Mm -hmm. I like the, yeah. the, the distance that SFAT is keeping, like right outside that neutral air and forward air range, and then like threatening down tilt and whatnot, or just staying like very, very close to him, but not close enough to where he's going to get clipped by an aerial. Yeah. Yeah, for the most part, Zane, Zane's playing this really like preemptive sort of neutral where he's, he's doing a lot of that short up, wait and see, and then throw a forwarder out. And for the most part, SFAT is just not giving him anything. Right. The patience is looking really good for SFAT. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he's looking prized to take this first oh, stock. Yep. 
All right, he takes the first stock. And yeah, like you guys were saying, I love the way s is playing, where he's just being a lot more patient this time around, just trying to bait out Zane. Yeah. Like we said, his amazing dash dance game gives him so many big punishes. Oh, doesn't get the soft spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want the tipper forwarder there. You can DI it too far up. And he misses again. The timing on the jab or the down tilt, either one would have worked. One more edge guard opportunity here. Oh, wow. He had enough time to come back all the way down and jab and still get that up. He's Zane. What I'm liking, from, what I'm liking from s -Fat, though, is that a lot of both in neutral and in punish, he's actually forcing Zane to make a lot of reads to get the damage he's getting. Yes. He's making him make reads in neutral, and he's making him make reads on the punish, on the edge guard. And it's making all the difference. All right, same neutral once again. Oh, that's look at that. Just waiting, yeah. No jump. Can he just hit him? Anything will do it. Oh, yes. and he gets shine. Very Doesn't nice. go for the edge, but goes for the shine instead, knowing that Zane's not going to get the perfect up B. That is super good. Yeah, SFAT playing really well this set, but now Zane is biting back with these up airs. Yeah, the platform combos oh my into gosh, the what a combo. I actually didn't even think that was going to tip. He was like so close to him, but Zane just knows the pixels, like the back of his hand. Wow, what a tight battle we have here. Let's see the punish. Oh, oh no, he oh. messes up right there. What an air dodge. I'm telling you, man, the, S the SFAT recoveries have been so good. Like, every Zane hasn't even like threatened that kind of uh, option of doing the F-Smash so quickly. Mm -hmm. And SFAT was just ready for it with the, the air dodge. One step ahead. Yeah. Yeah, as far as just playing extra safe this time. Oh, no that is oh. Yeah, He didn't grab the ledge after that shine. That could have been everything. OK. Wow, just goes through the platform. Very nice mix up right there from Zane instead of just landing and taking the back air. Platform problems again. Slide, slide off. Slide off. Oh, no. Going straight up this time. Zane still capitalizing oh, on this edge guard. Oh, 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 oh. made that about as difficult as it could have been for Zane, but Zane with the right response every single option. Yeah. No double jump. This could be a dead Zane yeah. just like that. Oh, oh no. Oh, yo, he should have recognized yeah. it. He was so close. Yeah, especially because he didn't have the double jump. Yeah, if you just grab the ledge there, you kind of force them to do something they really don't want to have to go for. At the very least, they're on stage. Throw up like air. Backer, but up throw up air is going to oh. get it. We're in the last dock situation on game five in winner's finals. S fat Zane. As close to 0% of pieces you get, basically. Yeah. I mean, yeah. one hit away from this being dead even. Yeah, right. this has been S fat's demon for such a long time. Mm -hmm. Just like we were talking about before, 16-3. Let's oh. see if he could change the odds here. He's on the platform. Oh, oh goes it for just the S smash right away. He tried to end him. Yeah. You're not going to be expecting that at such a low percent. Doesn't oh, get the up air. That's big yeah. as well. Oh, oh my god, god. No. What was that yeah. trajectory? No, oh, no. nobody. I was trying to offset tech the LP, so he went to like a really he odd went angle. Like down. Oh, I have no. never seen that. And that is crazy there at the end, too, because he actually could have recovered if he didn't fast fall. Yeah. Like he was so scared yeah. of getting hit by the F smash, thought that he was close enough to reach the ledge in time. It's because he thought he was going to offset tech, right? Like, that's yeah. what you do for offset tech. And if you miss the offset tech, then you're just way off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. I I didn't expect any of the, the last three things that happened were three unexpected things in a row. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. That was wild. That was a true, like, game five, last stock kind of scramble. Winner's finals. Winner's finals.